have a look at that. A portable EKG is here. The patient is looking great. Wow. The technician is doing the EKGs there, you know, eco and all that. He's performing onto the patient. Let the timing pass away. Oh my goodness. So, what we need to do here is, we need to specify this thing, that which it should go. So, if it is one, it will go to the, uh, what I can say, it will go to the EKG. If it is two, it will go to the X-ray, okay? So, let us have that going to the one, okay? Let me have that auto incremented and hopefully now this is ready for running. So, the first treatment which we are preferring that is EKG. Okay, we have manually entered that. We can make that dynamic. Okay, but that's what. So now what is going to happen after the MD exam phase? The tech is going to grab a wheelchair, then come, transport the patient to the X-ray machine, then take an X-ray of the patient. The tech then returns the patient to their exam room. So now this is somewhat, you know, quite good. The thing is that the, we are transferring it to the uh, X-ray area, but we are not transferring it back to the exam data. Do you see that? That is one of the part which is missing probably. So what we need to do now is we need to copy paste this transport patient back again, where after process, we need to transport this patient back to the examination room. Okay. So, and then only we need to return that. Okay. And when we talk about that here, we need to select the acquired exam table. The okay. Ex acquired exam table onto our this thing. Transport patient. Right. I need to use the acquired X-ray acquired exam table okay and hopefully you are going to acquire that exam table right we haven't released the exam table yet so that's a great stuff for us so there is no concern for us as well so we have this okay also so that was one of the missing area in the x-ray which we have already done now so our patient is going to be transferred back again to the exam table, okay? Now, this is our another set of activity where we have completed our using a transport in a treatment phase, okay? That is for the X-ray thing. Now, the next step which we need to put in is we need to have a patient arrival schedule. We need to change the patient arrival schedule. And now that we have built out a fairly complex simulation model and we are going to test it now, whether it's working perfectly. And then it's our time to increase the number of patients that move through a healthcare cleaning model. And that we are going to you know, understand in this step where we are going to change the patient arrival schedule on the date time source activity in the arrival space, you know, process flow so that the patients walk in the clinic often arrive at varying rates depending on the time of the day okay but before that we are going to test this whether this works perfectly and then we are going to put in our patient arrival schedule okay so let me just zoom this out first okay so let me also make this in a presentation mode okay and uh, let us see how this works because Testing is very, very important. Now, we have a patient in the system now. And congratulations, you have completed, you know, a great amount of simulation process flow tutorials by looking at these videos, okay? So, you might be able to make all these complex process flows now related to, you know, human flow. So, congrats. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our videos guys that really motivates us to bring in such educational videos just for you. So the patient is now going to the exam bay, okay, is sleeping there assisted by the team, okay, the processing has now started and you know, I'd like to 
encourage you to put in your questions in the comment section you can reach us out from our website leansincorp.com you can you know access our premium membership you know where you're going to get exciting educational content and you know just think of that guys we are not going to get such a great platform anywhere in the world we are going to get you know complete simulation solutions just under one platform so do not forget to explore that at our website leansincorp.com membership page now what you're going to do is this is going to get processed the token comes down the doctor is there you know working on the processing has started okay now let's see it goes in oh my goodness wow can you have a look at that a portable ekg is here the patient is looking great wow the technician is doing the ekg is there you know eco and all that he is performing onto the patient let the timing pass away oh my goodness and the portable ekg is back to its reset position so congratulations guys we have completed one treatment type and that is ekg successfully without any errors for premium content do not forget to visit our website leansimcorp.com where you will be getting all these premium contents available so talking about what what things you are going to get in you are going to get in you know simulation solutions you are going to get premium training classes for simulation stuffs you will be getting 3ds model file support you can buy modules you get access to simulation case studies you can visit our services also you can visit the blogs which you're going to get so i was talking about simulation solutions right you can schedule one on one session with us you know for training and details you can access our digital assets like learning center okay so here comes you know the booking online appointment talking about training classes you can access premium training classes once you are going to purchase our subscriptions you will be able to you know access our training classes which are listed out here and these are continuously getting upgraded guys talking about blogs here we bring in you know blogs from travel experiences health devotionals like industrial engineering personality development simulation tech and lot more interesting and exciting so do not forget to visit our website linsimcorp.com for pre